Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Matt from Guess What? From Matt's Right Show. Today we are in luck, folks. Well, you're always in luck. You're alive. You're a lucky person. You're alive. The moon dance bed and breakfast today, folks. Look, me and my wife are having our four year anniversary. Um, so we came to a nice little bed and breakfast and it was a really nice bed and breakfast and it's really cheap. It was like about the same cost as staying at a hotel. So we're like, <laughs> let's do it. We don't treat ourselves too often, but this place is just really cool and it's spooky inside. That's where Matt is right now, me. There are some who say this bed and breakfast has magical powers within its walls. <laughs> So today, folks, we are taking a look at the Moon Dance Bed and Breakfast. We are in Red Wing, Minnesota, or Wisconsin. No, we're in Minnesota. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure it's Minnesota. And the Moon Dance Bed and Breakfast. It's a really old home built by some guy who's old. <laughs> Probably wasn't old at the time. But now he's, well, he's not old anymore either because he's passed on. Anyways, let's take a look at the spooky bed and breakfast on Matt's Rad Show. Ashley will probably join us a bit later too. But I just thought it would be fun to show you guys. And I'm using my phone, so I'll do my best to make it still as possible. But I'm sorry for the jitteriness of it and all that stuff. But it's really unique, really cool. It reminds me of Hogwarts in some areas. And it's a marvelous night for a moon dance. Oh, look at that. This isn't a beautiful little spot there. Anybody ever make the sh those in a shoebox before? I used to do that when I was a kid. Is this chair rocking on its own? There's Ashley. She likes the miniature stuff, she said. It's a mini margarita. It's a mini margarita. Yeah. Uh, I can't focus on it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. See it? Yeah. I was just telling the folks at home that I used to make those when I was a kid, but in a shoebox and out of paper. Hey, that works. You want to give us a tour? Sure. Cruising yeah, through so here? Right now we're on the porch. <laughs> which is probably obvious. <laughs> right. But, yep, this is the porch. This is the porch, yeah. Let's go inside now. Okay. It looks spooky. We stayed here last night. No ghosts, though. We didn't see any ghosts. It was just a lovely, peaceful stay. I like this. Okay. Moon house, I tells you what. <laughs> We've got magical powers. 
And just to show you my magical powers, I have transported your wife outside. <laughs> we better be careful in here. There are some who say that ghost balls just go bouncing around the house without warning. If we're real still, we might be able to see one. There's one now. Hang on. This chair rocks. This is so cool. I really like the staircase. It's so cool. So look at the ceiling. It's, it's gold. They actually have like gold in the ceiling. Cool. Let's cruise around this way. This is where we had breakfast. It was cinnamon toast. It was delicious. I like all the old fixtures. They said those are original. There's a random picture of a dog. Like this. Like what is this? in the day. Wow, it must have been a while ago. Let's go upstairs. Nice. Let's sneak upstairs. Very sneakily-ish. I like the creakiness. Cheers to you, mate. There's the king and queen rooms. That's a cool shot. So cool. Got a big Narnia thing going on here. It's in front of the door. Right there. Dude, this is total Narnia. We should get in. We should go to Narnia. Yeah, look. It's the Narnia cabinet. They go in a cabinet and they they go to a whole another world. Look at this old staircase. It's cool. Okay. <clears throat> this was our room. Pretty sweet. Got the tub action. It's pretty awesome. Got all this old heating, this old water heating next to an electric fireplace. So got the old with the new. <laughs> okay. Bam. <laughs> cool ceiling. So as you're lying in the tub, this is your, your view. There's my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet. There, guest book for this room to find it it's funny like everyone's writing these nice things I really don't I didn't read them but it was like nice longer ones and then there's one <laughs> I don't know where it is where is it huh? there it is and this one <laughs> it was okay what is that stuff that's a mirror in the crash mirror old mirror it's like stuff from like the Titanic era man I think it's ivory is that ivory likes the vase. Mermaid with the moon. Mermaid's tails are weird. If mermaids really existed, they'd be creepy. We're going up to Hogwarts now. 
This used to be the attic, the door to the attic. So cool. Right? Look at this, this attic. It's amazing up here. This is like the best attic ever. So is that the fireplace that she was talking about? Apparently these tiles right here are from England. And see how each tile goes with the next, and everyone's different, but they all lead into the next tile. That's pretty neat. It's a perfect spot to spy. I see you. Another rocking chair, rocking by itself. What oh, stopped? This section right here reminds me of Edward Scissorhands. And his old attic that he was living in. Like his bed would be way over there in the corner. And he had like hands, he's like. And it was all scary. And then she takes off and he's like, wait, don't go. I bet for scissor hands, don't go. <laughs> this place is so cool. This place is awesome, man. What'd you find? The cloak of invisibility. What? Cloak of invisibility. <laughs> no way. Whoa! Whoa! Where did you go, hon? <laughs> I actually found the cloak of invisibility. What in the world? Where did she go? <laughs> she found the cloak of invisibility. That's insane. Honey, where are you? Yeah, and I'm over here. Where? Over here. Where? I don't see you. Right here. Oh my god. That's awesome. Yes. That's so cool. Dude, we should definitely take that home with us. Cloak of invisibility. It just looks like a normal robe. <laughs> Funny how that works. I promise that I didn't do anything. To the... I didn't do any fancy editing there at all. All right, well, before Ashley disappears on me again, we we are going to go down the stairs. That's how Creepy stairs. I think it looks like a lady's girdle. Of course, yeah. Great theme view. So cool. All the detail. The lamp is magnificent. Oh, look at the books. I see you. Oh, it 
almost go to a one big door. Here's the backyard. It's kind of amazing how well bright purple goes with the setup. Yeah. Hiya. Hi, mister. <laughs> so much foliage. Foliage. So cool, all the vines just take over a building. It just how'd you like that for a commute, hun? The owners live right there. And they work right there. Home, work. That's quite the commute. Traffic must be rough in the morning. Yeah. I like the gecko. It's a nice little thing they got going there. Or is it Geico? Cool. Okay. Anyways, me and Ashley want to say thank you for joining us on our little tour of the spooky, magical bed and breakfast. <laughs> Uh, anyways, if you're ever in Red Wing, Minnesota, in Minnesota right now, Wisconsin, kind of on the border, you should stay here. It's really nice. So stay here. It's really cool. You have a great time. It was uh, magical. See if you can find yourself a cloak of invisibility. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Have a nice day. Okay, bye. Ha, 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 ha.